proxy files can really save you if you have a computer that's struggling with the source footage from a cinema camera. For example, if you shoot on the pocket cinema camera, we're using a codec, right? We've already talked about this. Blackmagic RAW is a codec and the camera encodes that footage. So if your computer is struggling, what you can do is create proxy files, which are a smaller version of that source footage in a lighter weight file. Maybe it's half the resolution, etc. And the process is called transcoding. So Resolve uses the codec to decode that source footage and then it re-encodes it in a smaller, lighter weight file. But it keeps track of everything. So when you're editing with the lightweight files, at any point you can say, hey, flip back to the source footage. It's amazing, it's so easy. So I'm gonna show you step by step how to do this in a couple different ways. Let's get to it. We're gonna use the gold, the little scene you already cut together in the introduction to production course. I shot this on the Pocket 4K in Blackmagic RAW. So the first way we're gonna look at is using the Blackmagic Proxy Generator app. If you have DaVinci Resolve installed on your computer and you go to Applications, you should see the Blackmagic Proxy Generator. Go ahead and open that app. The first thing it's gonna ask you is what folder to monitor. So this is where I have all my RAW camera footage. I'm gonna to go to my data drive, Resolve Original Media, here's the little film, and then I have everything under RAW, and then in Scenes. Now I could select each of these scene folders, but that's not necessary. I'm just gonna click on the film and click Open. So now it's monitoring this folder for any files it needs to generate media for. And then for proxy format, I need to choose what codec I'm gonna use. Now, as you know, H.264 and H.265 are technically delivery codecs, and in the past, editing those was brutal on computers. That's gotten better now, but I'm just gonna choose ProRes 422 10-bit 1080p. So it's gonna take this 4K footage and size it down to HD, and click Start. Okay, it's completed. So let's go to Finder, my data drive, the film, raw, and then here are my scenes. And in each of these, it has created a proxy folder. And if I look in the proxy folder, here are the proxy files. Now, if I leave this app open, it will continually auto scan every little bit, but I can also manually kick that off by clicking stop and then clicking start again. Okay, so let's go back to resolve and let's see how this works. You go to playback, proxy handling, prefer proxies. Now you can see my footage changed when I did that. And then down here on my timeline, all my clips now have a little camera and film strip, and that means it's using the proxy files. You can also see that on the clips in your bins. And if I go to playback, proxy handling, disable, it goes away and it's right back to source footage. Now a couple notes on this. If you go to playback, proxy handling, prefer proxies, and nothing happens, here's what you have to do. You need to go to each bin, highlight your clips, right click, unlink proxy media and then right click on them again and choose Relink Proxy Media. And it's gonna ask you where the media is. So just go to your data drive, choose the parent folder and click open. And now you can see it's working. So I've run into it before where on an existing project where I already imported the clips and I had stuff cut together in the timeline, when I create the proxy media with the Blackmagic Proxy Generator app, it didn't work when I went to playback, proxy handling, prefer proxies. Now two other things that you're gonna notice. If I disable proxies, my image changes. Why? Well, two reasons. Number one, I've done color grading on this timeline, and the color grade is not applied to the proxies, and that's what you want. You don't want to color grade your proxies. That's not the way to do it. The other thing that changes when I do prefer proxies is my image doesn't look right. Well, it's because this is anamorphic footage. Well, right now with Resolve Studio version 18, when you use the Blackmagic Proxy Generator app, the clips will not display as anamorphic, even though the source material is. So that's obviously a problem. Now, of course, I could go to the timeline, right click, go to timelines, timeline settings, uncheck use project settings, and then here where it says mismatched resolution, I could change that to stretch frame to all corners, and that would fix it, but you don't want to do all those steps. So to avoid that hassle, we can create proxy media another way. So I'm going to jump back to the proxy generator app. I still had it open, so I'm going to click stop, make sure my drive selected, and click delete proxies. Now let's jump out to Finder and make sure it really did it. Gone. I'm gonna go back to my project and you can see I didn't even change it, it automatically jumped back to the source footage because there are no proxies. So the second way to create proxy media is within Resolve itself, but there's two things we need to do first. Number one, go to DaVinci Resolve Preferences, Media Storage, and down here for Proxy Generation Location, check proxy subfolders in media file locations. That's gonna make it work like the Proxy Generator app and make proxy folders in each of your 
media subfolders. Click Save. And now go to your project settings. You can go to File, Project Settings, hit Shift 9, or click the little icon on the lower right. Under Master Settings, scroll down to Optimize Media and Render Cache. So we looked at this already when we were setting up our project, and I said we'd talk about this more later, so now's the time. For proxy media resolution, we can choose how small we want the files to be. So if we shot 4K, we could say, hey, make it half, which would be 2K, or quarter, 1 8 whatever. So let's just do half. And then proxy media format. You'll notice we have more options in here than we do with the proxy generator application. So that's also a plus of doing it this way. I'm going to choose ProRes 422LT, which is light. And note that down here under Working Folders, we have a proxy generator location. But since we set our preferences, it's going to override this. Click Save. Now we're ready to create the proxy media. So we need to go to our bin containing the clips. And this can be a little more tedious, obviously, if we have a ton of bins and a ton of clips. But it's definitely worth it if you want more codec options and if you want anamorphic footage. I'm going to highlight all these, right click, generate proxy media. Not generate optimized media, generate proxy media. Once it's done, the screen will just go away. So let's try it out. Playback, proxy handling, prefer proxies. Look at that. We saw the color change, but it's still anamorphic. Nice. And we see the little icons here signifying proxy mode is being used. And if we go to our bin and look at the clips, we see the same little icon. And if we go to playback, proxy handling, disable, those icons go away and we see this change. Very, very cool. Another little tip. If you go to the media page, you can tell if proxy media has been generated. So if you're trying to verify proxy media has been created and that Resolve acknowledges that, change your view from icons to list view, right click on any of the columns, and select Proxy, Proxy Media Path. So it's showing me I have proxy files and it shows the resolution and then it shows me where they are. Cool, let's go back to the edit page. Now let's do a little test. I'm going to open up my activity monitor and here's DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to play back this 4K footage not using proxies. So you can see it's getting a lot of CPU hit. It's staying over 100. I'm going to stop it, prefer proxies, and do it again. Okay, look at that. It's staying under 100 now. So just on playback, it's taxing the system a lot less. And if I do full screen mode, the detail's totally fine. And remember, under project settings, I said half resolution, of course, and I said ProRes 422 Lite. And if I jump back to Finder and compare the size, here's my 1C Take 1 raw file, 7 gigs. So let's look at the proxy and it's 927 megs, so it's a lot smaller. And so obviously if I dropped my resolution even more, change codecs, it's gonna affect the performance of my computer in different ways. So as you can see, this is really slick. I can create proxy media, edit without taxing my system, and then at any point, jump back to the original source footage. Let's say I'm going to the color page and I wanna do color grading. I'm not gonna do that on the proxies, but I simply go to playback, disable, jump back to the source footage, and then do my color grading here. And just remember, if you ever have problems linking up to the proxy media, just highlight the clips, right click, and then relink proxy media, click your film, and click open, and it's that easy. If you like this training and you're an aspiring filmmaker, I highly recommend you check out Write and Direct, writedirect.co. It trains you to be a director, a filmmaker, from development through post-production. We cover all the information so that you can move forward in your career. That way, when you can't afford crew, you know how to set up the lights, you know how to run camera, you know how to set up sound, etc. Trust me, I've seen directors held back because of a lack of knowledge. Write and Direct addresses that issue and also sidesteps the typical expense of traditional film schools. WriteDirect.co. Hope to see you there, and if not there, I'll see you soon on another channel video. Oh.